Greg Affarian here, gregaffarian.com and Virtual Media Realty. Your realtor for the Andovers, Essex County. Homebuyer tax credit is running out April 30th. You have to be under contract, so let me know if you want to see any properties. But um, I wanted to briefly talk about uh, this news article I saw today. It was quite interesting, actually. And after all this news with uh, the past month, about the health care issue, which, you know, I guess I won't won't start. I, I just I'm not in favor of it. I don't think that, uh, you know, 29,000 per person covers less than 10% of the population is worth uh, 940, uh, what is it, trillion dollars or billion dollars? <laughs> 940 billion. Um, so that that's my my take on it. And, uh, but I am, you know, I am concerned about people that are sick. I mean, obviously those people, uh, but, you know, to ensure illegals, convicts cover things like abortion issues. I don't know. I just, I don't see why that should, uh, you know, really happen. I, uh, would like to know what I'm going to get or you're going to get from this. I mean, you know. 29,000 is uh, no chump change, and that's a lot of money. But anyways, uh, I saw this story in the Globe, Boston Globe, boston.com, and it was quite interesting, and uh, this was a story. The recession has ended in Massachusetts, and I just thought that that was really strange, um, but... I'd like to know what your thoughts are, you know? Uh, what are your thoughts? I mean, has he, ha, do you feel the recession has ended? I mean, that's a really great question. Um, you know, and this article was really messed up. I mean, it makes you wonder, like, who writes stories for the Boston Globe? I mean, and I guess there is a reason why they're in financial trouble. Um but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's saying that the recession, the recovery, um, started in January, which is quite surprising to me. And it goes on saying that, you know, home prices, home sales have risen double digits, which they have year over year. But anything improvement from last year is is a gain, you know, because last year was one of the worst years ever, I mean, in the history of the earth. So a uh, little bit of a smokescreen and a little bit trying to pat Deval Patrick on the back, uh, creating jobs that, you know, our government jobs are not lasting jobs for employment. And the unemployment in Massachusetts is still 9.5%. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a terrible figure, you know. Uh, the way to gauge if you're coming out of a recession is three months of positive economic growth. And we clearly don't have that. So uh, it, the funniest thing is that it says that while there is no official method of determining when a state comes out of recession, I mean, are you serious? It's just so strange the hypocrisy that uh, the globe creates. And I, I want to know, what, what do you think, you know? Mr. Middle, Mr. or Mrs. Middle America, what do you think? Are we out of a recession? Have we come out? Have you gained back all that money that you lost in the stock market? I mean, I don't know. Uh, last time I checked, the savings rate was uh, zero. So... Let me know what you think. I mean, restaurants are full. I, I do notice that. And uh, went to the mall the other day and people had bags in their hands. But people could be buying on credit and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for the, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, America, Middle America. So let me know what your thoughts are. You know, it's really interesting. Um, you know, clearly I think that the media, uh, newspapers, the government, they're out of touch with reality. Uh, I really believe that. I strongly believe that. I believe that with all my heart. Uh, people like Joe Biden, 
Uh, they're really out of touch with reality. And uh, probably half of these people in Washington never had to pay a mortgage. Uh, they all live off trust funds. And, you know, really, it's, it's disturbing. Uh, we should get people average people in Washington that care about, you know, one another uh, and not just try to shove stuff down your throat for the, for their political gain. Anyways, thought that was interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are. Greg Affarian, out for now. Take care.